unzip the Ruby koan zip file to a directory of your choosing, change into it, and run the path to enlightenment. That's what the readme file said to do, so I did it. And I was greeted with this unusual screen, letting me know that my karma has been damaged, and that I haven't yet reached enlightenment. Yeah, I'd agree with that statement. But it says not to lose hope, and it gives me a file name and line number that I can go look at for the next step in my path. A test asserting truth, which currently asserts false. And if you know anything about unit tests, you know that asserting any statement that doesn't evaluate the true is going to cause the test to fail. There's also that helpful little comment sitting there that it should be true, so I change it to true. And upon re running the test, the situation looks a little more encouraging. It lets me know that my awareness has expanded. And though I still haven't reached enlightenment yet, I have completed one test. It then points me to the next file and line number that I need to take a look at. And I notice that that little red X there at the bottom of the screen has marched one step down the path to enlightenment. So what exactly is going on here? Well, I'm working through code koans. A koan is a concept from Zen Buddhism. It's a uh, statement, a uh, strange story. Usually it's a single sentence, which is meant to encourage students to meditate on a concept. And only by thinking about it can they solve the puzzle that it poses. The most famous one that people might be familiar with is what is the sound of one hand clapping? Well, code koans take this concept and encourage you to meditate on code to help you grasp the subtleties of a language. So, moving on, I hit the next line number it asks me to, and I encounter a format that gets used through much of the rest of the Ruby koans. Fill in the blank, basically. The actual value is 1 plus 1. What's the expected value? Well, I fill, fill in the blank with 2. Rerun it. And yes, further progress. Got a little bit of work left to do, but by this time I have a nice rhythm going. And before I know it, I've been pulled through lessons on hashes, on iterating with blocks, on the subtleties of regular expressions. And I like to think that I know a fair amount about the Ruby language, but I'm learning subtleties that I hadn't encountered before. I think what's so powerful about this koan format is that it follows the concepts of flow as set out by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi in his uh, book on the subject. Um, the idea is to establish clear goals. A tennis player knows they always need to return the ball into the opponent's court, so they go out and they hit the ball back. Likewise, it's clear that you need to go make the test at file x line y pass so you always know what to do next it also helps that each lesson in the code koans builds upon the one before you're never lost as to what to do but you're also never bored and when all this comes together when these prerequisites are met the it becomes completely engrossing um, and you'll find that you absorb a great deal of material in a very short amount of time, uh, far better than you would if you were reading a book. The concept works well enough for Ruby that others have borrowed it for their own favorite languages. So here you see a snippet from the closure koans, and here you see some failing tests from those koans. Here's a bit from the Scala koans. And what I like for the closure and co or closure and Scala setups is they include all the jars you need to uh, run them right out of the box. Uh, all you need is a Java virtual machine for them to run on top of. And you're up and going immediately. The closure and uh, Scala setups also monitor the test files as you save them and automatically rerun, rerun them, which I think is a nice touch. Here's a snippet from the JavaScript koans, again, similar setup. 
and these run right in a browser. Firefox and Chrome are preferred for the time being. It lists all the tests that you have passing so far and points you right where you need to go next. So those are the code koans. If the format seems appealing to you, I encourage you to go check it out. Uh, here's a shortened URL that points you to all the koan setups I've talked about here today. And for more on code koans or other adventures in new, uh, new programming languages, feel free to visit my personal website, j.mcgavern.com. Thanks for watching.